Welcome to section 22 of viruses. This is our virus overview figure, and in this video, we'll be discussing most of the Togo viruses, including Eastern, Western, and Venezuela equine encephalitis viruses and chikungunya virus. You can see all of these right here. This image is all about a girl named Allison, who is in a place called Wonderland. As you can see, she's wearing a toga, which is to help you remember that the viruses we'll be discussing belong to the family Togaviridae. Now you can see that we've added a sign to the image because Allison has come to a fork, and now she must decide which way to go. As you can probably tell by the sign, she can go west, east, or south. The east and west symbols on this sign should help you remember eastern equine and western equine encephalitis viruses. The southern symbol should help you think of the South American country Venezuela, or Venezuelan equine encephalitis virus. Next, notice that we've added a cat in the tree who appears to be eating a chicken. We caught him right in the act, and we can even see some gross chicken guts hanging out of the poor dead bird. In any case, Chicken guts sounds like chikungunya, which should help you remember that this image is also about chikungunya virus. Before we go any further, let's talk about the organization of the image. So everything occurring in the tree up here will be about chikungunya virus, whereas most of the other information in the image will pertain to all of the viruses. So the warm colored background should help you remember that all four of the viruses we just introduced are RNA viruses. And just like in our other videos, the rainbow is here to help you remember that all of these viruses are also positive sense. After all, this is Wonderland, so the happy and positive vibes from the rainbow seem pretty fitting, right? You can also see that Allison is holding a little icosahedral-shaped souvenir she picked up in this magical land. The shape of this souvenir should help you remember that these viruses have an icosahedral-shaped capsid. Did you notice that little swampy area in the background? That's right, there are some mosquitoes around it and they're here to help you remember that these viruses are transmitted by the 80s mosquito. Also notice that the tree says arbol on it, which is our symbol for arboviruses. In other words, the viruses are transmitted by mosquitoes. As Allison approaches the fork in the road, she looks up in the tree and sees the cat. Then she asks, would you tell me please which way I should go from here? And the cat responds, that depends entirely upon where you want to go. Then Allison continues onward, and the cat continues eating the chicken. After all, the cat sacrificed a lot to get that chicken. He had to chase it around and ended up banging up his knee pretty bad, as you can probably tell by his red knee. Anyway, the red knee is here to help you remember that chikungunya virus can cause joint pain. If we zoom up a bit, you can clearly see that the cat has a red knee, which is to help you remember that chikungunya virus can cause joint pain. Because this information is only near the cat and the chicken, it should help you remember that this is specifically regarding chikungunya virus. Also notice that the cat has a bunch of black spots on its fur, which kind of resembles a rash. This is here to help you remember that chikungunya virus can also cause a rash. It's usually a maculopapular rash that occurs approximately three days after the illness, and it typically starts on the limbs or trunk and may be pruritic. This is an image of the erythematous maculopapular rash associated with chikungunya virus. As you can see, it's affecting this patient's foot. Finally, the cat is also sweating from all the hard work it took to catch the chicken. The sweat is here to help you remember that chikungunya virus can cause flu-like symptoms, such as a high fever, myalgias, and malaise. Eastern, Western, and Venezuela equine encephalitis viruses all cause encephalitis. Hopefully this isn't too surprising considering the names of the pathogens. However, to make this extra memorable, Notice that we've added two more characters to the image in the background. They're pretty mad at each other, so you can see them throwing water on top of each other's heads. Just like in our other images, this is here to help you think of encephalitis. So all three of these viruses can cause encephalitis. All right, now that we've covered the image, let's review with a question. A 25-year-old male presents to his doctor due to a rash on his hands that he noticed yesterday. He states that three days ago, he returned home from a trip to West Africa and hasn't been feeling well since. His temperature is 39.9 degrees Celsius, or 103.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Physical examination reveals a maculopapular rash on the patient's hands and arms. Additional evaluation reveals that the causal organism is a togovirus. This patient's condition is most likely transmitted by which of the following? A. The Aedes mosquito. B. The Ixodes deer tick. C, sexual contact, or D, aerosolized water droplets. Hopefully from the question stem, you notice that this patient has a rash, a fever of 39.9 degrees Celsius, and is due to a togovirus. Collectively, these clues should have made you think of chikungunya virus. This is a togovirus, which can cause arthralgias, a maculopapular rash, and a fever. So with this in mind, the correct answer is A, the 80s mosquito. From the image, recall that the mosquitoes back here are here to help you remember that chikungunya virus, as well as all of the other encephalitis viruses, are transmitted by the 80s mosquito. B is a reference to several organisms such as Borrelia burgdorferi, Babesia, and Anaplasma, but none of these are togoviruses, so B is incorrect. C and D are true of many pathogens, but not of togoviruses, so they're incorrect as well. So again, the correct answer is A, the 80s mosquito.
And with that, we've covered everything you need to know regarding chikungunya virus and eastern, western, and Venezuelan equine encephalitis viruses.